For this video, I'd like to focus on evaluating composite functions, but this time specifically with graphs and tables. So we have this first problem here, which is a graph of two different functions, f of x and h of x. And we need to know what best approximates the value of h of f of negative 6. So I'm first going to rewrite this with the alternate notation, h of f of minus 6. Since in this one it's a little bit more clear, we have to evaluate the inside before evaluating the outside. So we need to find f of minus 6 first. So we find our curve f, we find an x value of minus 6, we go down to our curve, and that is a y value of minus 2. So we're replacing f of minus 6 with negative 2. And so now we want to figure out what h of minus 2 is. So we go to minus 2, we go up to our blue curve for h, and that looks to have a y value of 1. So when plugging negative 6 into this composite function, you get choice letter C, a y value of 1. So let's do another one like that. And this one has f and g. And we want to know what best approximates the value of g of f of minus 2. So we again, like always, start on the inside. Start with f of minus 2. So we go to our graph f, we find minus 2, and that looks to be that point right there. So that's equal to 0. So we're going to replace it. We'll make a substitution since f of minus 2 is 0. We'll just replace it with that. And now we go to our curve g. We look at an x value of 0. And that looks to be about right there. So g of 0 is negative 3. So after evaluating this composite function, we found an answer of negative 3. So let's move on to some tables. And these will work pretty similarly. We want to find h of g of 25. So we always got to start with the letter closest to the number or the variable. So we got to find g of 25 first. And to do that, we go to our function g. The x value is 25. And so its y value is 5. So we're going to replace g of 25 with just 5. And then now we want to go to h of x, find an x value of 5. And its y value is equal to 1. So when plugging 25 into this composite function, the output would just be 1. Let's do one final question with another table. So we have g of h of minus 3. Just rewrite it. So we start with the inside, the h of minus 3. So here's h, we find minus 3, and that's got a y value of 2. So we're going to replace this inside, this h of minus 3, with the value of 2. Now we go up to our function again this time with g of x, and we're looking for an x value of 2, and its y value is 7. So the answer to this question is just simply 7. Let me just rewrite that. So when plugging in negative 3 to h first, and then taking that output and plugging it into g, we got a final output of 7. 